Hey up everyone, and yeah, this is gonna be my vlog for Five Heroes of Ill's Fan Fest 2018. You're probably wondering right now, why am I so out of breath walking the dog? And also, you're probably also wondering, it's so bright, why the fuck aren't you in London? And the best excuse for that is, I overslept. That's simple as to put it, I overslept. Um, the time is currently about quarter to eight. Um, I should have gone at, uh, I think like, half six, that was the original plan, but literally me and my whole family uh, overslept. <laughs> Trust me to fuck it up on the big day, but yeah, uh, I did oversleep. Uh, planning to probably head off to Heroes of Villains at about, I wanna say maybe 10 past eight. Hopefully try and get there before half 11, even though that's probably not gonna be the case uh, with how late I've gotten up. So I guess we'll just have to keep fingers crossed that we'll actually make it there in time. I'm not gonna miss out on a whole lot, because uh, my first photo op isn't until, I believe, um, 10 to 1 with Josh Chigaris. So I've not got anything vile to miss out in the morning. So it was more just luxury of, you know, getting there early, getting to see a load of other people. But yeah, uh, should be good. Uh, fingers crossed we'll get there in good time, meet up with Declan, do some shit. So yeah, let's start to kick off this vlog. Hey up. So after that really long break, because at the moment it's now half past two, I haven't recorded on the vlog since eight o'clock this morning. I'm with this car, by the way. Yep. Not a big deal. No. Uh, came in about half 12, got my photo op this legend, Josh Shigara, awesome guy. Um, it's, I've been pretty good so far. Yeah, I think that it's just been really exciting, almost surreal, especially because we're so passionate about the Arabo shows, <laughs> seeing, like, seeing the, the cast. Like I've met David Ramsey and Josh Shigara as well. Uh, we're going for a door here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's just been quite surreal. And I've also yeah. just met uh, Stephen Amell. I just met him just walking. He was literally walking around. I hate you for it, but I know. Because I, I completely sabotaged him. We apologise, it's awful filming. We've never done yeah, this there's awful filming. I promise. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make up for it with the next vlog next year. If we yeah. do, do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy a selfie stick. <laughs> we'll buy a selfie stick next year. Should have, should have looked for one, actually. They might sell some. They might sell some. Cut that. But, but yeah, Stephen made me shake to my core. Yeah. Um, I, just because he, he just walked through the show and he didn't really get that much attention. I just saw him coming. I was I threw everything on Dan. I didn't even care. I was like, I'm meeting Stephen. Leave God me alone. Say. The worst part, you just threw everything on me. Denied me the chance at all to shake his hand. So I hate you for that. Yeah. But at the moment, we're going to try. Hopefully, uh, Declan wants to meet his favourite man of all time. Mr. Franz Drama. We're gonna go to the Legends cast, which is over there. Yeah, it's right over there. Over that side. Uh, Brandon and Franz are still there. Katie's on a, well, Katie's doing the photo op, isn't she, at the moment? Yeah, she's doing the photo op at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna try, hopefully, get some signatures or photos with them, so. Be back in a sec, fingers crossed, this guy doesn't pass out yep. from excitement. All right, so, back again. Uh, Declan has just met um, both Franz Drama and Brandon Rao. Funny enough, um, gave me his phone, I took the photos as usual. And uh, I ended up getting to meet both of them. I like, got to shake the hand, talk to them for a bit. So basically, I got to meet them for free. So can't complain, but uh, now they're awesome, man. Uh, Franz Drayman, literally, Declan was like talking to him for about easily a good, like five minutes, I'd say. He was like really, really chill sound guy. If you're wondering where Declan is now, um, he's gone to, I believe it's, I believe Daniel Panabaker's photo op for Group A. Uh, he's gone to that for the moment. I'm just uh, wandering around the convention. Uh, I might buy a few merchandise or just some things to have a bag so I can put obviously my photo up with Josh Agara, put that away. Um, I'm also probably going to meet Kirk Acevedo, um, probably go to his little booth thing, have a photo with him, have a chat to him because uh, I might as well. He follows me on Twitter. I'm obliged to. So um, yeah, just going to be wandering around, uh, waiting up for Declan. So yeah, catch you later when I do. All right, so I've just met Kirk Acevedo. What an awesome guy, man. He was uh, pretty epic. Um, talked to him a lot, I told him like, I thought he was amazing as a dragon. Like one of the best parts of the season. He's like mega thankful for it. He told me he's coming back for season seven. He's gonna try and uh, rematch with Green Arrow, take off his arm this time. Uh, man, it was sick. Like such a sound guy. And the best part is he recognized me because he asked me what my name was. I said, damn my cans. He literally went to me and straight said, I follow you on Twitter, right? Oh, it's awesome. Um, probably gonna head back upstairs now to Declan because I'm pretty sure his photo op Stephen Amell's finished. So we'll see how we go from there. Um, 
my photo op Stephen Amell, I believe, is in. Get the time quickly <laughs> while we're doing this. I think it's in an hour's time, so I've got about half an hour just to like wander around, do whatever I want, and then uh, yeah, go and queue up for Stephen's photo op. Might get another photo if I can, uh, preferably with David Ramsey or Josh Scar or whoever. But I'm gonna head up to him, so uh, yeah, give you all an update later. All right, just have my photo op with Stephen. Absolutely awesome. Uh, absolutely great. I had to wait like an hour for it, but totally worth it because I love him that much. Like, he's shuffled me around in queues like three times, but got the photo anyway. Uh, got some posters as well. Yeah, I'll meet up with you at home. Hey everyone, so it's the Sunday now. It's the day after um, that I've been to the event. I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog much on the way back. Um, it was simply so late. We were trying to get home, you know, for a good time. So, so I wasn't able to record anything in terms of, you know, my reaction straight after. I had to wait until... Uh, the day after to record anything for it but yeah overall i thought the event was amazing I thought it was really really well done i thought the organization for everything was fantastic it was a lot better than last year uh, for me personally i felt like the celebrities and the members of staff there they were far more organized uh, i felt that it was a lot more relaxed that's probably the best way to put it i felt it was a lot more relaxed uh, than it was last year because last year i feel like everybody was a bit on edge because it was the first heroes and villains you know obviously not done in the uk so completely understood why and yeah I thought it was really good really amazing got to meet some great people um, you know like Stephen Amell, Josh Gara, Kirk Acevedo I even got to you know shake hands with people like you know Franz Drama and Brendan Ralph I even got to meet um, Emma DeMont who from The Gifted because I saw her walking up to a panel while I think Declan was at a photo op and I got to speak to her for a bit like honestly I met so many people it was uh, amazing really really fun um, so I thought I'd just quickly go over some all the stuff that I brought from the convention in case there's any things that I forgot to mention in my other segments of the vlog, which I probably have done. So I'll quickly go over the two things that I'm pretty sure you would have already seen, and they are my photo ops. So the first one um, is, of course, here with uh, Josh Chagara. He was really nice, really nice dude. Um, when you're in the photo ops, you don't get a lot of time to speak to them, but honestly, with Josh, he was so sound. Like, um, I said to him I wanted to do something different, so he did the one where he like, pointing to the camera like that. Honestly, such a nice dude. I wanted to get on with him last year, but I wasn't able to because I was too late. So I'm so happy that I got it this year, and uh, such a sound guy. And then on the other side, we've got the big one. That's, of course, Mr. Green Arrow himself, Stephen Amell. So happy to get this one. I mean, I had to wait so long in line for it. I think I had to wait almost an hour and a half in my line because I went up early and then it was meant to start at, like, I believe, quarter past five. I didn't actually get my photo op with him until about um, five past six. So I had to wait a really long time, but it was so worth it. He was so nice. And the funniest thing is, is that uh, I accidentally blinked uh, during my first photo. So this was the second one. But, you know, Stephen came over. He was, like, really reassuring about it. it was like, oh, it's all right, buddy. It's all right. Don't be nervous. He was so calming, so reassuring. Such a really nice person. And I definitely, next year, if I get the chance to go, I'm definitely going to try and get uh, uh, an autograph from him or just go to his, you know, his little booth because he's such, so nice. Such a nice person. Really enjoyed um, just, just getting this small chance to actually speak to him. It was amazing. Uh, I also did get, obviously, some photos on my phone with Kirk Acevedo. Obviously I can't put them on here because I'm using my phone to record at the moment so I'll just insert them as I'm talking right now about him but I got to meet Kirk Acevedo. He was the only person I met at the booth like properly um, but he was phenomenal. Really good. I was there talking to him for easily a good like three to four minutes. Just telling him how amazing he was as, a, as the dragon. Uh, asking him you know if, it, if it's season seven you know what does he want to see the most. He personally told me he wants to fight the Green Arrow and uh, was very specific he told me he wants to because obviously anybody who watches the arrowverse knows that there's the episode in legends tomorrow season one where it's star city in the future and uh, oliver queen's obviously missing an arm and he said that he wants to be the person who takes oliver's arm off so then that future becomes canon which is such a cool theory i think someone did bring it up to him earlier on that's how um he knew about it because he told me all about this but i thought it was so cool and he's such a nice dude really awesome um and I'm just happy I got to meet the three people that I wanted to see the most. Um, I would have got, would have wanted to see more people, but I didn't have the opportunity to because obviously I arrived late at the convention. And then with Stephen's panel, I had to wait so long for it that by the time I got out, the convention was actually already over, so I couldn't really do anything. Um, I was wanting to get one with Hartley Sawyer, um, with uh, Franz Drama, or maybe one with Katie Cassidy, but I didn't have the time, so 
there's always next year for that. Uh, in terms of my merchandise that I brought, I got myself two t-shirts. Uh, the first one, of course, Arrow One. This thing here, so it's got that on the front. You're probably thinking, that's no, boring. Flip it to the other side. You have failed this city in the style of the, like, your country needs you. I saw it and I just thought, I have to get this and it's really nice. Um, and then the second one, it's a bit more of a plain one, but I wanted it anyway because I looked, thought it looked pretty cool. It's a Punisher t-shirt, you know, with the skull crossbones. I just thought it looked really cool, so I thought I'd just go ahead and buy it because it looks pretty sweet. And then I also got myself two posters. And the funny thing is, was I brought all of these almost as soon as the panel ended, like as soon as the show was over. Um, but I got these two posters, um, both for £10. The first one, uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Because um, obviously everybody knows I love Legends. It's one of the shows I talk about the most on the channel. So I uh, got the poster for that. Really, really cool poster. Definitely going to try and put it up somewhere in the room. Don't know exactly where, but find a space for it. And then the last one is, of course, I, it had to be done. Arrow poster. Got everybody on there from Season 6, including my boy Josh Cigara. Um, bit upset that Ricardo Diaz isn't on there, but oh well, I can't have everything, can we? Um, but yeah, that is it for my whole vlog in terms of Heroes of Villains Fan Fest in London for 2017, of course. Uh, it is currently still on today, but I only went on the Saturday because um, I didn't have enough money or time when I booked the tickets to pardon me, book a hotel in London, so I wasn't able to do both days. I am definitely going to try and do that next year if I do have the time. Um, because hopefully, fingers crossed next year, I will apply for a media pass, which means that I can, you know, get in early, bypass queues for, um, for photo ops and uh, booths and stuff like that. And also it gives me a chance to just give more content to you guys and just make it easier for that sort of stuff. And obviously that will only happen if the channel continues to grow. So of course, any support on the channel, much appreciated, both here and on, of course, on the Honor Thy podcast. Any support on there is much appreciated. And um before I end the vlog, I just want to say um, thanks a lot to uh, Heroes of Villains Fan Fest for setting this up. It's been an amazing experience, really enjoyed it. And also, uh, thanks to Declan, um, finally got to meet him at the convention. Really, really sound. It was kind of weird meeting each other the first time, because obviously we've never actually met before. So uh, it was kind of weird the first time, but yeah, definitely go and check him out. Um, great YouTuber. It was just funny watching his reaction to meeting everyone, and it was literally just the exact same as how I was last year with Heroes of Villains Fan Fest in London. So. Been absolutely awesome really enjoyed it brings an end of course to this vlog if you like these kind of videos then you know just let me know in the comment section down below what you think about them where i can improve them for next year because obviously then obviously it'll become a lot better so yeah just keep up the great support if you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below thank you all for watching subscribe to the channel if you want new and give the video a like and i hope to see you again next time